Hi everyone, we're partnering with the Foundation Center in DC to bring you strategies for fundraising success. I'm Emma and I've worked with over 50 nonprofits to help them achieve their goals. I use my background in teaching and also frontline fundraising to help move organizations forward. Hi everyone, I'm Susan and I'm partnering with Emma to deliver this really exciting training. I do nonprofit work because I'm passionate about the missions. What I do is I help nonprofits build fundraising plans and then actually make things happen. So what we're here today to talk to you about are fundraising freakouts. Anyone ever had one? I've had one. Yeah, me too. All of my in-house jobs and all of my clients, it happens. So what I'm gonna talk to you about today are questions. Emma, first question is for you. Okay. Is your fundraising team running on all cylinders? Do you have active and engaged volunteers helping you bring in the money? You know, Susan, fundraising is hard intellectually and emotionally. So you need a team. You need a group of people who are going to help you. So you need both paid staff and unpaid staff, which are your volunteers. You need to have a board that can help you extend your reach and really get out to all of the donors that you need to. We can help you with that. We can help you learn how to train your board members. Great. We're going to help you get them active and engaged and really working for you. So now my question is for you, Susan. Great. What do you do when your donor's eyes glaze over when you are making a pitch? And what do you do when you look at your annual fundraising appeal and think, this isn't it, it's not gonna make it happen this year? That happens every single year for so many nonprofits around the country. So what we like to think about and also don't like to think about is that one third to two thirds of all charitable revenue is coming in in the last couple of months of the year. Talk about pressure. What we can do and what we'll work with you on is to think about your annual appeal and how to make it the best it's ever been. Talk about your messaging and segmenting your donor lists and how to ask for the right amount. So join us for this training because we'll send you home with templates that you can use for this year's year-end appeal so that you can reach all of the donors you need to. Great. Okay, last question for you. Okay. How do you make your donors feel really special? Not just your normal tax thank you letter, but how do you actually make them feel engaged and excited to give again? The first thing that you have to do is you have to have a plan. You've got to really think about your donors and what they might want. You want to develop deep, meaningful relationships with them, and that doesn't happen by accident. You really need to set a plan and stick to it and really work with your donors throughout the year and talk with them regularly. We can help you develop that plan so that you always know what the next step is. So you're going to learn everything that we've talked about today and more if you join us for Strategies for Fundraising Success on October 16th. It's going to be a great class and we're going to send you home with templates so that you can put them into practice right away. And as a bonus, you're going to be in a room with lots of great fundraising pros from your area. You're going to be able to network and meet folks so that you can build your cohort of people that you've always got in your corner. So join us October 16th at the Foundation Center in DC for strategies for fundraising success. Bye. Thanks everyone.